If you're watching this video, the chances are you're actually interested in launching a career in cybersecurity. But perhaps maybe just maybe you're not quite sure on how to start. You don't know what skills you need to acquire, the kinds of certifications that you need to acquire. You really don't know how to begin. Now, I guarantee you that if you watch this video and you still till the end of this video, you will know exactly how to launch your career in cybersecurity. You're gonna know the skills you need, the kinds of certifications that you need, and also how to plan strategically your future career within cybersecurity. If this sounds good, let's begin. Now, before I introduce you to the video, if you enjoy topics around cybersecurity, please do hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so that you're notified whenever I upload a new video here on cybersecurity. My name is Alex. I cover all sorts of news, topics, anything related to cybersecurity. You will find it here on this channel. Okay, so you want to launch a career in cybersecurity. I'm going to begin this video by answering or addressing two very popular misconceptions about cybersecurity. The first one is that you need some sort of a degree in cybersecurity to have a career in cybersecurity. This is completely false. You do not need a degree in cybersecurity to have a career in cybersecurity. What you need are professional certifications that will verify that you have the skills needed to do the job. Now, we're gonna talk about certifications a bit later in the video, but I just wanted to address this because a lot of people often believe that, oh, I don't have a degree in cybersecurity, I need to go to college, spend four years of my life acquiring a degree in cybersecurity, and then I can start in cybersecurity. You don't need to. In fact, back in the year 2020, in the UK, the CISSP certification, which is one of the most recognized and respected certifications in cybersecurity, was awarded the equivalency of a master's degree. And we're beginning to see a lot more educational bodies giving more respect and credit towards professional certification. So again, you want to focus more on professional certifications as opposed to acquiring degrees within cybersecurity. The second misconception is that you need to be a programmer. You need to know how to program in order to get into cybersecurity. This is also completely false. There are so many fields within cybersecurity. Cybersecurity is a massive field. There are so many jobs and functions within cybersecurity that don't require any sort of programming knowledge. In fact, you only need programming knowledge if you're interested in going after very specific kinds of careers within cybersecurity. So just to give you a very quick recap, you do not need a degree within cybersecurity and you do not need a programmer to become a cybersecurity professional. Now, with all that out of the way, let's get to the video proper. How do you launch your career in cybersecurity? The chances are, if you're watching this video, you fall into one of two camps. It's either you're a very young student who is about to go into college for the very first time, or you are already a working professional in a completely different field to cybersecurity. Now, if you fall into the first camp where you're a young person, you're just getting into college, the path is very, very easy for you. You definitely wanna go for a degree on the cybersecurity or at the very least something in IT, whether it's web development, programming, database management, anything within IT will suffice. And of course, once you've gotten your degree, then you can focus on certifications. However, if you fall into the other camp where you're already a working professional, maybe you're a banker, an economist, maybe you're even a policeman, a carpenter, a truck driver, whatever, obviously you don't want all the skills and years that you've acquired and experience that you've acquired in your current position to go to a waste, right? So what you wanna do is this, take a step back and look at cybersecurity as a whole. Cybersecurity has so many fields and careers, there is a possibility that there might be one field within cybersecurity that closely resembles the position that you're currently working in. As an example, maybe you're the manager of advertising or finance or marketing in your current company. You have some experience working as a manager. You may want to look at cybersecurity management. You can transfer some of the experience and skills that you've acquired as the manager of sales or whatever over to cybersecurity management, right? Maybe you're currently working as a lawyer. You're into criminal law, land law, and so on you do have cybersecurity law, cyber law basically, right? Maybe you're currently working as a detective, as a policeman, maybe you're working for a crime fighting organization and so on, we do have cyber forensics. Maybe you're currently working in sales, guess what, you do have cyber sales as well. So try to figure out if there is a field within cybersecurity 
that closely resembles the field that you're currently working in. Now, if it turns out that the current position that you're working in has nothing to do with cybersecurity, maybe you're a chef as an example, right? That's okay, don't get discouraged. All this simply means is that you will need to acquire, first of all, a entry-level job within cybersecurity, and then with some years of experience, you can begin to go for more uh, prominent, better paying jobs within cybersecurity. All right, so now that you know whether or not there is a particular field within cybersecurity that you can target because of your current position, or maybe you're simply gonna have to start from scratch, the next thing to do right now will be to acquire some basic IT skills. And when I say IT, I am not talking about cybersecurity, I'm talking about other fields like web development, networking, and of course, hardware. Now, why is this important? Cybersecurity is one of those fields where every other field within IT has something to do with cybersecurity. Whether it's web development, okay, you do have web security. Whether it's database, you have database security. Whether it's programming, you have programming security. Whether it's in networking, you also have cybersecurity within networking as well. So to become a cybersecurity professional, you need to know something about every other field within IT. And there are three main fields I'll recommend that you focus on. The first one here would be hardware. You need to know the basics of computer hardware. For example, you need to be able to understand what the RAM is, the random access memory. What exactly is this? What is a processor? What does the processor do? What is the CMOS battery? What is BIOS? Things like this, okay? You need to know the basics of computer hardware. I'm not saying that you have to be an expert, but you should know just the basics, okay? Next would be networking. Networking is so important. It's basically kind of like the right hand of cybersecurity. There is almost nothing within cybersecurity that you will talk about that networking will not be involved in. So you need to know the basics of networking. For example, what is an IP address? How does an IP address differ from a MAC address? What is a router? What is a switch? Things like that. You need to know the basics of networking. And finally, the basics of web development. When you go to your web browser and you type in www.labsabit.com, you press enter, what goes on behind the scenes in order for the front page of Labsabit to show up on your computer screen? You need to know the basics of web development. What is HTML? What is CSS? What is PHP? What is JavaScript? I'm not saying you have to be a programmer or a web developer. Just know the basics of what these things are and you'll be ready to go. Once you've acquired the basics of IT knowledge, now you can acquire the basics of cybersecurity. Now you want to learn about things like hacking, okay? Who are the gray hat hackers, the black hat hackers? What is social engineering, okay? What is encryption? You want to learn about the basics of computer or cyber attacks, man in the middle attacks, right? Brute force attacks. What are passwords? Things like that, okay? Acquire the basics of cybersecurity knowledge and then begin to acquire some basic practical cybersecurity skills. Yes, you want to learn some practical skills. Now, what practical skills am I talking about? Things like the basics of Linux. How would you work with the Linux operating system? Learn how to use tools like Nmap, Wireshark, PowerShell, Hashcat, Multigo, and so on. Again, I'm not saying you have to be an expert at using any one of these particular tools, but at least have some knowledge on how to use them. So now that you've acquired some basic IT knowledge, some basic cybersecurity knowledge, and you have some basic cyber practical skills, now you can go for your very first cybersecurity certification. And the first one you must go for is gonna be the CompTIA Security Plus. Why? Well, this is simply because the CompTIA Security Plus is the gold standard of all entry-level certifications on the cybersecurity. It's also a relatively easy exam to pass. You can prepare for it within three months. Once you've acquired a certification, then you can begin to apply for entry-level jobs within cybersecurity. Now, let me just say one more thing about certifications. When it comes to acquiring them, you want to acquire them strategically, okay? Do not make the mistake of acquiring certifications just for the sake of acquiring as many certifications as you can. There are a lot of people who believe that the more certifications I have, the better job prospects I will have. While this might be true, it's often better to acquire your certifications strategically 
quality over quantity. Now, what am I talking about? Maybe, for example, you've decided that, hey, I'm going to become a cybersecurity manager. I'm going to work under the management field of cybersecurity. What you want to do is once you've acquired the Computer Security Plus, which is the entry level certifications, begin to acquire as many certifications as you can within cybersecurity management. Maybe you want to become an ethical hacker or a pen tester. Once you've gotten the Computer Security Plus, begin to target certifications under ethical hacking and pen testing and so on. Again, acquire your certification strategically, quality over quantity. Now, once you've acquired your Computer Security Plus certification, you can begin to apply for entry-level jobs within cybersecurity. This obviously will be in a scenario where your current position has nothing to do with cybersecurity and you have to start from scratch. However, if your current position, like again, in management, for example, right, you, maybe you're currently a manager of some sorts and you want to go for cybersecurity management, one thing you could do is once you've gotten your Computer Security Plus certification, begin to acquire certifications on the cybersecurity management and then you can begin to apply for jobs on the cybersecurity management. But if it turns out that you're constantly being rejected because you don't have any actual experience within cybersecurity, you may need to apply for an entry level job first, work for like a year, a year and a half, and then you can begin to apply for jobs under cybersecurity management. Once you've gotten your foot into the field of cybersecurity, you're kind of working as a professional, you're making some good money, you can begin to, of course, focus on acquiring more certifications and of course becoming more successful as a cybersecurity professional. And that's basically my guide on how to launch your career within cybersecurity in the year 2023. Now in closing, let me just say that if you're interested in launching your career in cybersecurity and you agree with what I've told you, you agree that you need to acquire some basic skills in IT, cybersecurity and so on, why not check out my courses both on LabCyber and Udemy.com. I do have courses that will teach you the basics of IT, courses that will teach you the basics of cybersecurity and also a course that will teach you some basic cybersecurity practical skills and then I also have some other cybersecurity courses that specialize in things like cybersecurity architecture, cybersecurity risk management and so on. So if you're interested in acquiring or learning about cybersecurity, why not check out my courses on Lab Cyber and Udemy. I'll have the links down in the description box below. And of course in closing, let me just say thank you so much for making it this far. If you enjoyed today's video, why not give it a thumbs up, share this video with anyone that you feel might benefit from it. And of course, if you're new here to the channel, welcome. My name is Alex. I cover topics on the cybersecurity. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you so much. I want to wish you all the very best in your pursuit of a career within cybersecurity. I'm sure that you'll make it. If you have any comments, questions, put them down in the comment section below. I'll do my very best to answer them as quickly as I can. Thank you so much. Wish you all the very best and stay safe out there. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.